You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers and say, that's the bad guy. So, what I make you? Good? You're not good. You just know how to hide. Say hello to the bad guy. Timothy Bradley is the new bad guy in boxing. Antonio Margarito retired. He's gone. Floyd is on a hiatus. If you ran a poll two weeks ago and said, you know, how do you feel about Timothy Bradley as a, as a person, personally? How do you feel about him? Do you like him? Is he a cool guy? Is he not a cool guy? I guarantee you... I, you I guarantee you it'd be hard, unless you had, a, I mean, it was a poll filled with extreme Pacquiao fans, it'd be hard to find people that gener generally did not like Timothy Bradley as a person. You know, if you saw the 24-7, if you, you know, if you've ever, he if you ever seen him speak, he just seems like a likable, classy dude. The guy's always saying, the, he always says the right thing, um... You know, even even when you hear his father talk, man, there's really not a whole lot to not like about about them. That has changed. That's that's went that's went fucking from from a, a complete 180 in the course of a week, man. The amount of hatred, the amount of uh, bigoted comments that you see in forums, you know, all all types of shit. His wife's a fat bitch. A lot of it's sour grapes. But as of right now, the, 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 the hatred that was there for Mayweather has been replaced for Bradley. Margarito was, was second, I believe, and in, in, as far as bad guys in boxing. He was just he was he was a fucking villain. He was like uh if 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 Mayweather was the Joker, you know, Margarito was the Riddler or some shit. He was, like, right right under him as far as uh, people you wanted to see get beat. Timothy Bradley's the new bad guy in boxing. If I was him, I'd embrace that shit. You didn't have a storyline before for 24-7? Here, now you got one. My wife's a fat bitch. I'm an N-word. I didn't. I didn't do what I said I was gonna do. I. Right. I'd go if I was him. I'd. I'd be. I'd do my best version. Of a Floyd Mayweather and stir that pot up. You know, part partly because you know we're gonna make they're gonna make a lot more money and part and partly just just to fuck with them, because these people can't. They just can't take it. They cannot take this shit. I seen a video of a fucking some dude crying. The other day they can't take it. Timothy Bradley does not owe Manny Pacquiao shit. Timothy Bradley does not have to give Pacquiao his belts back. Timothy Bradley does not have to come out and say Manny Pacquiao was the better man that night. Manny Pacquiao ain't never did none of that shit for Marquez. Other people have lost, indirectly have lost because the person that they were facing we're going to be facing Manny Pacquiao next, and the judges gave them the win so that they can face Manny Pacquiao, a la Cotto and Claudie. And then Claudie got the fight afterwards, anyways. Um, Morales and David Diaz. They didn't want to see. Uh, they didn't want to see Morales beat him because Pacquiao had already beat him. This thing, things like that have happened indirectly. People have been robbed because of Manny Pacquiao, and people have been robbed for Manny Pacquiao uh, uh, because of Manny Pacquiao in the ring. And he's never said boo about that shit. So Timothy Bradley don't need to fucking apologize to anybody. I don't need to apologize to anybody. If you saw the video where I was going crazy, I made my bet and I won my money. I don't need to, I don't need to apologize to anybody. I don't need to, need to admit to shit. When I go to collect my money at the end of the week, I'm not, I don't have to tell my bookie, I thought Pacquiao won. Don't pay me. I've lost baseball games my team up seven points in the ninth inning. I've lost basketball ge games. My team up 15 points with fucking 30 seconds to go. 
the most I've ever gotten from anybody that had to that had that had to take my money was damn, and I saw the game last night. That sucked. The fuck? How many times have things not gone right right in your life, and it seems like shit, yo? You know, like the world's picking on you, over and over and over again. Who the fuck's there? Who's there to pat you on the back when that happens? Maybe your family, your friends, but ain't nobody, you know. People got their own shit to worry about. You know what? When you get lucky and shit goes right and it works out for you, I'm not apologizing for that shit. Pacquiao wants his belts back. He got it. He got it. You know, you got to get it. You either got to get it through Timothy Bradley or you better hope Bradley loses and then you can get it via the dude that beat Bradley. He don't need to apologize for shit. This is boxing's new bad guy. If I'm Timothy Bradley, embrace that shit. Say hello to the bad guy.